Hello everyone, this is Katya. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you how I made this beautiful Hello Friend card using some of the Maya Rhodes Fanciful Hello Friend die, as well as an old heart-shaped floral wreath that I have. So I wanted to share with you a really cool trick that I learned about a year ago, and I cannot find this gentleman's video, but the technique he shared was just brilliant, and I've had such fabulous success using this. So do you see here I'm peeling off of the word friend? I'm peeling off a very, very thin layer of plastic, and where I got that from was those grocery bags that you get at the grocery store. You just cut out a piece to the size of the die that you're going to be using and use it to sandwich between the die and the paper. And I have found that this works like a charm. I cannot believe how well it works, actually. The only drawback is that when you're peeling it off, it does create a little bit of static. So you're going to need something a little bit wet or something that is non-static to pull it off your fingers and release it from your fingers. <laughs> but look at how fabulous these dies just pop right out. You don't even need one of those brushes. Um, and I found that this works beautiful, especially for the in intricate dies when you're trying to fussy, fuss with all of the um, pieces that need to come out. The one thing I did notice is that the super, super small pieces are a little tricky to still get out of the dies, but if you just tap, I just am amazed at how well this technique worked. You can also take it so that you put a sandwich between the bottom of your paper, then your paper, then the plas another piece of plastic, and then the die, and you can basically sandwich so that it is on both sides. And it's amazing how well it works. It's just fantastic. So here I am putting some glue dots because I cut multiple versions of the word hello and friend because I wanted a little bit more dimension. So I'm just using a zig two-way glue pen here to add little dots and adhere the um, additional pieces of the word hello onto each other to kind of create some dimension. So another technique I really love doing, and this is super helpful when you're working with intricate dies, is to take a popsicle stick, or a, here I'm using a coffee stick, and adding some removable adhesive tape. So on this case, I'm doing it for both the word hello and the other word friend, and I'll stick that on the other side. And it makes adding layers or embellishing these types of intricate die cuts super simple. So right here, you can see that I'm adding one more layer of the hello to add three pieces total. And it just makes it a lot easier to maneuver, especially when you are embellishing these intricate die cuts, as I'm doing here. So I'm adding some Versamark ink and flicking up the Versamark ink pen directly from the bottom to the to midway through each one of the words. And I'm not doing it in any particular fashion. In fact, I want it to look very organic. So I'm just flicking up the pen, and I do this twice on both die cuts. And then you'll see me add some gold embossing powder um, and I'll, I'll adhere it to both of the word die cuts and it'll just stick to the bottom portions. And I'm kind of bummed because I didn't catch this on video. I didn't realize I didn't capture this, but I heat set it and I love watching the magic of dull powder turn into a sparkly gold color when it's heat embossed. But you'll see here uh, the end result once I uh, show this here in just a second. So there is the heat embossed where it comes to, comes to life with all that uh, gold glitter goodness. I love that. It's so pretty. But it wasn't enough. I had to add my clear Spectrum Noir pen to add more shimmer to the top portion. And here you can see all the additional shimmer that that brings to the to the die cuts. So in the interest of time and not to bore you, I decided to color the floral portion of the flowers on this heart-shaped wreath with some of my Spectrum Noir pens. And what I did off camera is, as you can see in the very top portion of my screen next to the Hello Friend uh, die cuts, I actually selected some colors that I thought would go well with my cardstock. Now here in the video, it looks like they're pretty dark and they're not really gonna match, but once that ink dries, because it's an alcohol ink, it will dry a little bit lighter and really come together beautifully towards the end of the card when it's all dry and everything has set. So I also added some Spectrum Noir glitter pen to each one of the flowers, and I think I did that on the leaves as well, too. And off camera, too, I did run this particular panel, this white card panel, through a stitched die cut border, because I thought that would add some more interest and dimension to the card. So here's my blue card base, which I'm going to be using as a frame for that white panel, and then it will sit on a white card base at the very end. And I decided to run this through a stitched border die as well too because I thought it would be 
a lot more um, interesting to add that fine detail and I love I love the look of stitch dies I think they're they add a lot of interest to and detail to cards so while I was looking at this I decided that the word hello and friend were a little bit too busy and the card was too busy so I wanted to balance it out by putting a piece of vellum over a portion of the heart and I felt that that would allow the words and the die cuts to kind of pop a little bit more um, and not get lost with the wreath um, because it's so busy. So I added some glue to the back of my card panel and put that to the base of my card and situated that, let that dry a little bit and lined it up corner to corner. That's a tip that I always find to be very helpful is to do that on the corner. And then I added, um, I wanted to make sure that I added that vellum piece directly to the white card panel before I adhered it to the blue card base. And here's another tip I've learned. Use some sticky notes to get that vellum to stay in place because vellum tends to be a little bit slippery. And instead of using a bone folder, which I think is sometimes a little bit too sharp, I actually used one of Martha Stewart's ball tipped styluses to help create a fold in there because it's a little bit more gentle and I found that it doesn't really tear the paper. But that post-it note just keeps that vellum right in place and when you're flipping it around and adhering it, it makes it a little bit easier to maneuver so you can make sure it stays where you want it to stay. So I attached that panel directly to the card front, added some more Zig Glue Way 2 pen to my two die cuts and rather than put them uh, directly horizontal on the card. I felt like it would look a little bit better if I uh, cut or tip those, put those on at an angle. And then I trimmed the excess card at the bottom and added some white embellishments um, to jazz up the card and make your eye move around the card. And I think it turned out pretty. So let me know what you think. I would love to receive any comments. Uh, if you would, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe. I hope you have a great crafty day. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.